All right, Ben Manning, today is Thursday. It's August 10th. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Today, my guest is Kate in an episode that has been in the making for how many years? Five? Five. I think it's (laughs) five. Four or five years? I think so. So I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, we talked about this on the serious 24-hour stream. Mm -hmm. That's where this originated. Yes. And we're... uh, talking about originate we're talking about periods we are talking about periods and i think it came about <laughs> it was a 24-hour stream we had to do and somehow we landed up on yes of the million topics we ended up on that was one of them and you guys had a couple questions and i was like oh man eddie we could do a whole season on this and and it sounds crazy that there's enough for a season on periods it's interesting it is and also too like chicks in the office or the chicks account went around asking guys like what are tampons for and how do they work the just like a week ago and like 99 percent of guys in the office were so clueless about periods it's yeah yeah, I, I, yeah obviously <laughs> same same so that's what we're going to talk about a lot of people are going to be like what the fuck is going on in the show <laughs> but listen if you're a dyer i've we've teased this forever too yeah like we've definitely mentioned period thursday yep. on a conversation so we're getting it done today it's finally happening it's finally happening the dog walk is in heat people <laughs> the dog heat. walk is in heat it's a it's it's a lamb yeah. it's a benchmark episode okay yeah. so kate i think this started because i i made a comment and it wasn't just but i said you know what if you break it down 12 a year doesn't sound that bad <laughs> You it's like a Netflix a payment. <laughs> you know, it's just yeah. like, you know. It doesn't. It really doesn't. And over the span, you're like, that's not even that many over the span of a lifetime. But when you're living it, it's just straight up not a good time. It's, I it's, guess it depends on the person. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone's yeah. like, some people have it harder than others. Some people, it just totally depends. Hormones, especially now, of course, a pregnant lady is on talking about this. But hormones <laughs> are like make the craziest and imp- most improbable shit happen to your body that you're like, what the fuck is happening right now? And it can change everything. Your voice can change while you're on your period. Really? There's even, it's very, very rare, but some women have a disorder where they get rid of like the blood waste it, that you can bleed out of your eyes. Okay. There's cr- crazy what? shit with periods that people do not realize. Yes. It's you could turn into Emily Rose. You this could turn is like into a- Emily Rose. It's, <laughs> I'm here to make, I'm not here to clear up any myths or anything. I'm here to make terrifying, <laughs> the most scary. terrifying thing. Yeah. So obviously I'm kidding. Obviously I, I'm glad I don't have them 12 a year. Yeah. It was just a joke. Like you guys sure complain a lot for something <laughs> that happens only 12 times a year. Yeah. Like a bill. But all right. So that time of the month now, does it, does it happen at the same time for every girl? No, it doesn't. The normal cycle is 28 days, but it totally, again, everything is so dependent on the person. It's just crazy. But I want to start. I'm going to dog walk you through. Oh, please, please. It, grab the wheel. So did you know, do you have any sisters or anything like that? I have that? two older sisters, yes. You have two older sisters. Yes. When your grandmother, when your mom was a fetus inside your grandmother, Towards the end, before your mom was born, your mom had all of her eggs. So your sisters were inside your grandmother already, egg-wise at least. Like the eggs that would become them were inside your grandmother, inside your mom. Because when you're born, like females are born with all the eggs they'll ever have. So you're born with it. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? So, so like, like, you're like a nesting doll of yeah, women yeah, yeah. inside the... So we're born with like a million eggs. The mm-hmm. day you're born, you have like a million eggs in you. And as life goes on, they deplete. And before puberty, they just kind of, they kind of like... A scientist would have a better way, but they kind of just dissolve. But by the time you hit like teenage years or whatever, you have about 300,000 left. Okay. That's I, it. That's a quick 700. Yeah. It's a quick 700. They just, they don't mature and they just kind of fizzle out and dissolve. Sperm is totally different, right? Like it just regenerates. Like, don't you go through like all the sperm in your balls in yeah. like a week? And it's then, like when you die in Mortal Kombat. You yeah. Know, like, <laughs> it just yeah. really just like regenerate or whatever. With us, we're born with all of them. And then we just slowly lose them all over time until we hit menopause. And that's why, like, as you get older, fertility gets harder and harder because you're losing your eggs, man. You don't regenerate them like sperm. Ah, all right. That makes it simplified in a way that I've never known. Yeah. I always just thought it's like, oh, you're getting older. Like, things just get harder when you're older. 
Yeah. So, but I didn't know it's because the actual basket is just getting pulled and pulled from. And by the time you hit the age where you could start having kids or whatever, like only 25% remain. It's still a ton of eggs, but yeah. whatever. Um, huh. Most hit a big decrease in fertility around age 37. Not the case always. Not the case. <laughs> I, I think part of the reason I wound up pregnant twice was that I was like, well, I'm older. Like, the, my odds are way lower now, Let's anyway. take some chances. And you're a little faster and looser when the pill drops underneath <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> under the dresser down the Jersey Shore, and you're like, I'll get it tomorrow. You're like, it's not as, it doesn't seem as urgent when you're past 35, but ladies, I assure you, still very much a thing. 35 or 37, you said? Well, you 37. Said, okay, but, okay. But 35 the first time, where mm -hmm. I was like, they'll, they'll figure, they'll find that pill tomorrow <laughs> and uh, Wait, think, i'm it? old i have gray hair i don't need to worry about it and then <laughs> it turns out i did now i have a son but this is something i've learned somewhat recently pretty much it's like you have like two or three days right the ovulation period that is literally 48 hours 48 hours essentially so say the 28 day cycle you got three hundred thousand eggs in there at the beginning like a group of 300 to 600 are like, oh, we want to be next. We want to be the egg. So this big chunk of them starts to mature a little bit, but only one of them of that group's like the fucking alpha egg that matures above the rest and like gets to the edge of the tube and the tube's like, you, you're the alpha. So mm -hmm. it's like the claw machine in Toy Story, you know? Yeah, yeah, The claw. Yeah. So there's hundreds of eggs that are starting to mature. Only one super matures and makes it into the tube. By the time it gets into the uterus it's like 48 hours otherwise it'll die and a new cycle begins so that's it and that's another reason i think i was like what are the odds you know what are the 48 odds? hours and you look at how many people have like surprise pregnancies like a lot of people are like it was you know he was surprised haha -ha. but like it's a lot yeah like some of these like the teen pregnancy specifically it's like you really got unlucky really unlucky if, yeah and then, but like older people who already have kids, it's like, I think it's, you're like, well, I'm older. And two, 48 hours out of an entire month. Come on. What are the odds? Yeah. Then, wouldn't you know? Um, but yeah, it's crazy. That's, I don't know. That's the little cycle for you. Goes down the tube. And then the uterus, I hope you don't mind me talking to you about this. No, no, please. The uterus. This is like, you're like the woman that we used to watch on the TV. Like, is Sue, sexist yeah. Sue. <laughs> yeah, rest like, in, did you know she died? No, when? She died a couple, like last month. Oh, no. I, I know. I was so sad. She was a legend. That is um, I did her death blog. That's not oh, to brag. Well, well this, you're sexist honoring Sue. her. I am. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I'm going to pull out a bag of sex toys <laughs> next and really. <laughs> Beautiful. But so as that egg, the alpha egg that gets selected is coming down the pipes. And I would love like any real OBGYN listens to this and goes, everything Kate said was wrong. Nothing he said. It's not like the claw and toy story at all. But it's on the way. And so the uterus is like, just in case, just in case she meets a fancy fella and something goes right. Or she drops that pill under the dresser in Seattle City, New Jersey on Margarita Night. We're going to start preparing. And so it's... You know, bare wall uterus is like, let's start fluffing up a little bit. So blood and all this other, I'll just call it stuff. I don't know. Uh -huh. Stuff an egg would need to like latch on and start to grow. Like nutrients, blood, whatever. Starts to prepare for the egg to get there. If the egg gets there and there's no sperm making its way through and nothing happens, nobody gets through to the egg. They're like, that was a loss. Sorry, egg. Alveda Zane, you are out. And that's why all the whole lining of the uterus then sheds because it's like none of this stuff is needed. Everybody go home. And all that shit comes out. And that's what a period no is. Shit. Yes. That's what all the blood is. Yeah. Oh my God. So it's basically your body reacting to not being pregnant. Yes. It's your body wow. being like, no, not this month. We didn't need any of this extra extra furniture in here for anything so so in a sense if you still want kids at some point it's good that you're still getting your period because that means that there's eggs still alive there's still eggs kicking in there yeah all right. and again that whole thing too is complicated like you could still get your period every month and still have trouble with fertility for whatever reason yeah so there could be a million different reasons a million different things um but that's the way it rolled i don't know so that's the gist of it that's the gist of it and your hormones too like 
as you're ramping up for that time, like your hormones, and it's different in every person, me about two days before, I have thoughts that are so, I'm like, I have to remind myself, don't trust anything you think for the next two days. Don't trust anything you think for the next two days. Like, like my hormones get so crazy that I become like a, like crazy inside. Really? Now, do you become sad? Do you become mad? Do you become frustrated? Super sad. Like no light at the end of the tunnel. I'm like in a bad mood, like, like the cliche shit you see in a sitcom or like my wife's being a bitch for them. (laughs) She must be on her for like two days. It's two days beforehand. And then my period starts and I'm like, oh yeah, that's why I was feeling, I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to jump in front of a butt. No, but it, like, it's ser- it, like hormones are just fucking crazy. Damn, Cause that shit ramps brutal. up too in, pre- in preparation. And oh. then once it realizes, oh, you're not pregnant, your period starts, everybody's like, all right, everybody calm down. Everything's fine. Oh, so when the bleeding actually happens, you get, you, you I go back to normal. Okay. Not everybody does, but like for, it's, for me, it's like two days beforehand as shit's like ramping up. I get crazy and I don't realize it. And then as soon as my period starts, I'm like, oh, that's what that was. That's all it was. But now yeah. are you better at realizing when it's about to happen? Yeah, I'll actually say to myself, like, don't, oh, don't listen to anything you're saying to yourself. Don't listen to anything you're saying to yourself. Crazy bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Can't you use one of those calendars? A normal, normal women who are like responsible. Yes. Oh, okay. 100%. All right. All right, I like not to the- wing it. Yeah, not the lady who drops the pill under the dresser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, no, I've never. Some people like track it down to the second they have all these apps and everything. And clearly, I've oh, fucked that up. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so then, I, so it's like five days, right? Or it's depends for everybody, but yeah, generally like five days. And now is that five days? You said you're you're feeling okay, right or no? It's common thing is feeling like you're gonna shit your pants. Like feeling like you're going to like diarrhea yourself is a very really? common thing. Yep. Feeling bloated and just uncomfortable. And if you're standing for a long time, feeling like your vagina is going to fall out into the floor. Again, it all, some people have it and they're like, eh, it never bothers me every week, but like every month and others have it. And it's like, they have to call out of work because their cramps and shit are so bad because <laughs> as it's like a lot of shit for you just to get rid of. So your body has to like have these cramps to like kind of, push it push it it along and for some people the cramps are so bad that it's almost like a mini labor like wow yeah and it can be really bad and like the cramps it's just like squeezing on your sides or where is the cramp specifically at it's like it's down in there man it's like oh so it's actually in like the vag not in the vag like a little above it but it's so intense it's like i can't even i can't quite explain it wow it's like uh it's not a good time it doesn't feel great i'd be honest i want to take back my 12 a year <laughs> thing because this sounds horrible some pe- and again it's so different for everybody but like every now and then i have to get like a hot pad out because like because it's like so mi- fucking miserable i remember when i was in the marines and you have to be on your feet all the time and like whatever and no, i would never in a million years be like excuse me i'm on my feet like you know i would never are you but allowed like to, there was time uh, I, you maybe could but I don't know. <laughs> Old school me is like, but you'd be a fucking put. No, um, yeah. and no, you probably could if it's bad enough. Um, but just be like, fuck, I have to stand at the armory for 10 hours today. I feel like my vagina's going to fall onto my boots. Like, I don't know. I can't explain it, but it's not always a great time. What, you just thought it was just going to like disattach, like fucking. Just like you're. Uh, the pelvic floor. The pelvic floor is another dog walk. That's a story for another time. The pelvic but like floor. all your muscles and all your th- everything's like contracting and it's just like really intense and really uncomfortable. Damn. That's all. I don't like that. So then so then no. naturally you like we gotta curb this. Like this is where we need the <laughs> the ninety six pack of the tan packs. Yeah, that- right? Hannah's really bleeding, isn't she? I didn't realize she was such a bleeder. <laughs> so we got into like a friendly discussion about, because at one point that was the women's room. And we had, a, she was the only woman in the office and yeah. she bought a 96 pack. And we're like, well. That's a lot of tampons. <laughs> it's a lot of tampons. Um, they estimate, I think a normal pack, I have to look it up, comes with like 18 or something like that, because that's what they estimate uh, a average woman goes through in each cycle. But again, it totally, some women use up to 48 tampons each month. That blows my mind. I can't imagine that. 48 per cycle. That's per month. That's per insane. Month. Um, I've never used more than a fan. I don't know. 
Everybody does their own thing. That seems like. A and I'll, basically, it's just like a wine cork, right? Yeah, pretty much like yeah. a wine cork. And then there's the diva cup, which is like a little. Do you know what that is? Not particularly, no. Okay, so it's the this, diva cup. The diva cup. It's, it's a Beyonce song. It is. Yes, it's this little like rubber cup, essentially, like kind of rubber material. It's like super thin, and you put it up there, and it's just a cup that catches all the blood. And then you can pull it out, dump the cup, put it back in. It's no, like you dump the cup? And you can like wash it in your dishwasher. And like, Stop, Kate. So, yes. Girls uh, are doing this? Oh, yeah. Girls are doing this. Wow. You and you can reuse it and over and over. Your diva cup. Then there's the thanks underpants. that I think they had some kind of scandal, but you can just like bleed right into your underwear. And the underwear is like so mega absorbent. You don't need a tampon or pad. Oh, that sounds kind of great. And some women, there was a lady who was like, I'm going to free bleed while I'm running this marathon. Some ladies are just out there free bleeding. Not, okay. Not the most sanitary if you're riding a public bus or something like that. Yeah. But, you know, you could do that too if the if the mood struck you. I don't remember. How long has the Diva Cup been around? Probably a long time. Yeah. Like way back in like Egyptian times, they would use, um, they would like wad up like animal hair and shit. Like people have been doing tampons and shit for a long ass time. Yeah. Wow. And you just like it's like I'm a I'm a tampon girl. I'm a I'm a diva cup girl. I'm a f free bleeder. Is that yeah, what it's you called? You kind of find over time like what your thing is that works for you. And <laughs> any girl who doesn't have like a r secret ruined underwear section of her underwear drawer is a liar. <laughs> like there is a section that just you're like these are these are it's that time of the, the month. Period pants. I'm reaching back in there and getting yeah the ancient hands that have really. <laughs> Taking been through the yeah they've really been through the <laughs> if i keep fucking up in life like that's what i'm gonna come back as a pair of like old period panties for some miserable yeah um kate so yeah. what about the pad where does the pad come into play now pad comes into play there and there, there's a flow so a lot of times it hits off or maybe it'll start light and then day two you're like oh my god there was a fire fight there's blood everywhere Day two, for me, day two or three, nightmare fuel. Oh, I'm going to lose like thousands of followers. I'm really listening to this. My OnlyFans is going to be down to its last customer. Um, but it's too, I don't think so. I think it might be the opposite. Actually. Like clots come, like it's not just like thin, nice little blood. There's like big ass clumps, like sometimes big ass clumps of blood that come out too. Big clumps? Yeah. So wow. it's a whole, so it depends. So the, that's when the pad comes along. I was so confused by the pad. I said this to you too. Oh yeah. This, I was confused as to how you could be confused by the pad. Cause I was <laughs> always like, doesn't that hurt when you take it off? Like, doesn't it rip your pubic <laughs> oh, hair? Yeah, that's, what it was. that's what I think. That is what you said that I was like, we have to have a period Tuesday. You thought you undid a pad Yeah. and you put the sticky side on your Vulva yeah vagina. why would i not like what you know what i mean like <laughs> no. I, that's like how would it be stable yeah no you put that but the sticky part goes on the underwear and the pad absorbs everything and there's different sizes and different like yeah but then in my head i'm like well the pad doesn't necessitate like the circumference of every woman's underwear but i guess you guys are wearing the same underwear the that. circumference of, it depends on the flow there's some pads that like go like from belly button to all the way up your butt crack no that you really wear. it's nighttime it's like nighttime pads because you're laying on your side and you're rolling and sleeping and like sometimes have, it's so bad you just wake up when your sheets are like covered in blood you just have a racing strip like belly to butt he, he, like huge yeah yeah that's i don't know that. bedtime yeah wow uh -huh. bedtime pad uh -huh. now okay so i was like all right, I'm an idiot for thinking that because, <laughs> but I genuinely was so confused. Like, doesn't that hurt when you guys rip oh it my off? God. I like basically waxing yourself every time. Yeah. And the second thing about the tampon, I was always like, doesn't that just fall out at some point? Like, but then you told me that it, it Christmas trees out, right? <laughs> it does. It expands out a little bit. No idea. And that's why I should have brought one in here. But if you push it up out of the tube immediately, it already gets a little bigger. And the second it gets wet, it starts to expand. Should I text Hannah to bring second, one in? Bring a tampon in right, here. Yeah. Bring a tampon in. All right, I'm texting. Um, and those come in all different sizes, too. You got a wide set? Honey, they got you covered. 
Well, because like that's for like the heavy bleeders. Yeah, for like the first couple days, you will have to double up with like a tampon and a pad. Oh, because you're really going. Because you're really going to town. Yeah. Yeah. And again, this depends for everyone. Some people probably, it's like pregnancy. Like I've been miserable and some people are like, this has been the most magical, wonderful time of my life. I feel great. I'm like, well, that must be nice. Yeah. I don't know. This sounds terrible. Right, tampon delivery. Thank you. Hannah, did you know that he thought you take off a pad and you put the sticky part on your vagina? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you think? I thought the sticky part goes on the What's vag. The, the sticky oh, part of the vag. <laughs> this is why we ha- need to have this. This is why we're having. I'll be important. honest. Holding the tampon <laughs> a lot more plasticky than I thought. <laughs> I thought this thing was like just a cotton ball. Wait. Okay. Please open it up and explain to me what you what you think oh, each no. part is I don't, for. I don't want this. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Look, pretty pretty solid wrapping. Huh? <laughs> Good wrapping. Okay. All right, we got. I mean, this is like a. It looks like a firework. Now, do you think? Like, how do you show me how you think it works? <laughs> all right. Nope. Uh, all right. There you go. Pushed it through. Yeah. Why doesn't this stay in? Oh, go so that part doesn't go oh, in. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> I the, popped it out too much? No, no. You're fine. Uh, that part would be going into, for since we're being technical here, a bussy. Okay? okay. And so it would be already held up in there. I just pushed it through. And then, yes, it would come up through and in. And then the plastic part on the bottom is just to push it in. So you don't want that part in your vagina. Oh, so you... This is gone. This goes right in the None garbage. None of that goes in your vagina. Eddie. Oh, no shit. I was, for oh, some no. reason, I was like, wait, so this thing just dangles there? <laughs> no, <laughs> so, no. I was so, like, confused. All right, so this is all. It That's looks like it. a sperm. None of the plastic goes in, goes in or stays in. Wow. Okay. okay. That's that. All right, so that makes. throw that part out. All right, gone. Gone. And then the tampon sometimes can get lost in people. Okay, and oh, go no. a little too far. And I had a, I had, I'll just say, a friend of a friend of a friend who put one in. Time goes by. They forget. They're living their life. They notice a smell. Yeah. And a little discomfort. And it turns out they had had a tampon in there for like a couple weeks. Yeah. And then, like, she had to go fish they it out? They had to go get it fished out she had to go to the doctor yeah uh-huh. oh no yep now i don't like how it's like particly like it's like i'm seeing dust well here's another thing that's like i feel like so you just were walking around with these 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 flakes in here more. The, well the i i think it's still the case the fda or the usda or whatever we're putting these things inside of us they don't have to disclose what these are made out of oh no so we could be putting anything in there no it spreads open like a bat it does yeah so it does. It expands, and as it gets wet, it expands even more. So it's highly unlikely that it would fall out on you. Okay. It but, could. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, Good sneeze. What about losing your wick, your puller? <laughs> your wick? Yeah. Like, how does, <laughs> does that happen? Um, I don't think so. I think it's pretty rare. I think they it's get the pretty wick sturdy. in there pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Yeah, I guess it is. I think Cardi B was just seen on stage during a concert in a short skirt. And her tampon string was just like flying to the wind. And she was oh, like, really? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. No, no cares in the world. But. Okay. Yeah. These are so much more sophisticated than I thought they were. Yeah. I didn't know that the plastic part came with it, that <laughs> it spreads out like a Christmas tree. Yep. And that the wick is sturdy. And that the wick is sturdy. I think when they went, another big thing is like they sent Sally Ride when they sent her to space. They sent her with like a thousand tampons because all these brilliant NASA men didn't know. Like, you don't need a thousand for, you know. The but what if, like, the flow f- sp- was affected by space? That's true. Free bleeding in space. Yeah. Would be kind of cool. I exactly. Yeah, but who, those ast- astronaut outfits are probably expensive. They probably are. Yeah. I don't know. But that's periods, Eddie. I think anyone with real knowledge of periods, please feel free to tell me I'm an idiot. But that's my understanding of periods. If there's someone out there who has a better understanding or maybe there's accredited, we will do a part two. Yeah. The two of us, right? We'll sit down and we'll, we'll talk We'll sit to down them. and you can teach us about periods. You should have an OBGYN on the show. I've had a urologist. A urologist? That was good. Was it but lady I, or a guy? It was a guy. Guy. So OBGYN is just vaginas? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. The whole system. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I would do that. That'd be interesting. Would you join? I would love to. Okay. I thought I'd probably learn that everything I said was wrong, but that's the general I would gist of what I have from it. I was a Catholic school kid, so it took me a long time afterwards to learn it. To understand. And it wasn't just magic Jesus beams <laughs> that were making <laughs> that were making this happen. Wow. Yeah. And so you're saying like the 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 like water would like make this not flaky? I don't know. You don't know? They, I'm almost certain it's like a thing. There's companies popping up now that are like, we're the tampon company that'll tell you what's in your tampons. Um, so no, there's probably, probably got all kinds of tampon flakes in there and terrible things. No I shit. Know. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm trying to think if there's any other questions about the periods I could Did you growing you. up, because you have sisters, as you said, like, was it anything where they ever like, Eddie, here's a couple things you should probably know. Like, no, 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 it wasn't talked about at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> your, your dad wasn't like, I'm running out to get the tampons for the girls. <laughs> yeah. No, no. And I'm, I'm an inquisitive guy. Yeah. But I was, you know, as a boy, that's not something that maybe would have. That made you want to. Yeah. I would say to the fellas, it's important to do a little Googling and a little understanding. Cause you look at me, you can't trust us to know what everything's going on you want to be in the know about the cycle yeah you want to be if you want to earn brownie points if they have if your girl has a bad period let me get the heating pad let me get some snacks and some light all let me like yeah help her out during this time huh now what about uh having intercourse on the old pit what's the deal with that so you can you absolutely can so i think some guys are pretty into it for whatever reason. That's why I said you're worried about the OnlyFans. I was like, I think the opposite can. I think some people get a little... Get a little more into it. I will say this. They say like, I like having sex in a pool sounds fun, but the water messes up the wet, like the lubrication yeah, the of it. Yeah. And periods can do that too, a little bit. Oh, so it's a little, so, a little painful. Feel a little bit. It could be. If you use a little lube, yeah. you're fine. But the, from my understanding, women are hornier on their periods <laughs> some I, are some are not after i got divorced uh, after a friend of a friend of mine got divorced <laughs> she went on a little bit of a streak <laughs> and she went down to dc to party with some friends and met a guy and she was staying in her friend's living room and things got a little frisky <laughs> what was that movie where he's like um the disaster artist yeah. What was the actual movie? Uh, it was called The Room. The Room. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were watching The Room and they were laughing <laughs> and they were really hitting it off and everyone else went to bed. And <laughs> one thing led to another. No sex, but <laughs> maybe a finger blast for a second here or there. Okay. <laughs> Didn't know she was on her period <laughs> and that she had started her period. Pretty drunk. Wakes up the next morning. Couple bloody handprints in the living room on the white the white carpeting. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, and on the couch and I, a blanket. I don't think you could blame and your friends on the guy who woke up who was like, "What the fuck?" And then you never talk to that guy again. I don't think you could blame your friend. No, I think he got he got a late night hankering for a McRib, and that's what happened. That's what happened. And yeah, it was fine. That was that. And that's all it was. Still get roasted for it from time to time. Yeah, but I think like I don't know. I hope guys are at a point in society where it's like it, it happens. You it can't, happens. Like, it's not a big like anybody who's like. I feel like it's such a turnoff when guys are like grossed out by it or whatever. Because like, oh well, even I'm grossed out by it sometimes. Because again, there's clumps. Okay, it's that's the word thing. that got me. The yeah. clumps got me a little bit. I'll be honest. But it's like you're not ready for a woman yet if you can't handle that shit yeah like okay? it's just part of life grow up yeah that's all i gotta say and you earn brownie points with women when you know all this shit when you do your own research and you can like know what's going on know what's going on yeah like that's like i would be like oh there was like a little blood it's like dude like it's not a big deal right it's it, not a big deal. it's not a big deal no. yeah anybody who makes a girl feel bad for anything like that it's bullshit l7 weenie no I, good i agree yeah i agree um well, this was very interesting. That was periods, I yeah, guess. Yeah, this was periods. I don't know. Thursday. How did we do? Did you feel like you learned anything? Harry? I'm just feeling a little lightheaded after, <laughs> <laughs> after some of this. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. He needs a juice box and some Teddy Grahams. <laughs> <laughs> he's at the blood drive. That's period talk. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I, 
Well, you did a great job of kind of explaining it. I'm trying. I asked about the intercourse. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, on the is there table anything that, else that I'm like particularly curious about? I'm trying to think. I pulled up this list of like um, interesting period facts. You could go through up to fifteen thousand period products in your lifetime. It is expensive. I'll tell you that. Oh, much. what's a box? Um, they. Got, I feel like they're like twelve dollars. Like it's like a cigarette habit. Almost, but not not as bad. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot less blood than you think. Two point seven ounces oh. during each period. So it just seems a lot worse than it is. But per square inch, it's yeah. Yeah, per square yeah. inch. Square footage of the blood's not bad. Gotcha. So I and then I guess like what's like a you, all your white clothes, you're like, these are not seeing the light of day for a while. I think it depends on if you're gonna tampon and pad it up together, you're probably fine. Oh, really? Or if you're wearing like special underwear with a tampon, you're probably fine. But you're still running the risk. Like you go, you're you wearing those white pants. Like it's a dangerous game. There's no? always almost every. I know so many women who we have fucked up and like you either get the day wrong or you don't bring enough or like whatever. Or you're out drinking at a bar and you stand up and you realize maybe left a mark on a seat or something like that. Oh. Oh. No. Well, it happens. I'm, it not, happens. I'm not judging. It I'm happens. just saying, like, if you're wearing like super thin yoga pants or yeah, you whatever, guys don't want it to happen at the gym. No, you don't no, want it not. to happen. Yeah, that's a bad situation. But it starts and you don't realize it, and you're out at the bars and you're whatever. It yeah. just is a thing that can happen. You get up so. and you're like, hey, a couple, a couple hours of napkins. I was really messy with the wings. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're really just wiping the seat. There's desperate DIY moments where you're like somewhere where you can't you don't have access to stuff in the moment and so you're uh, like oh, yeah make so, my own so when you go to a bar and there's no tampon machine are you like this is fucked up no no but uh but there have been times where you have to like make your own pad you just uh, gotta you know layer the toilet paper until you can get by to the next okay now is cheap toilet paper or good toilet paper better for that good Okay. So then you get all the little pieces of real mess. <laughs> yeah. Like all right. But then you don't got the uh, you don't got the string. You don't got the rope. You don't have the rope. Yeah. So <laughs> the there's that. The rope is vital. The wick, as you were <laughs> calling wick. it. It looks like a wick. Yeah. Um. All right then. This is this this was good. This was informative, Kate. Yeah. Thank you. Um. All right then. We could stop here. If there's any other, maybe we'll do a part two. We'll do a part. Two. We'll find the object and we'll figure it out. Do you have any period questions, fellas? Yeah. I guess what is like uh, certain birth controls? Like, how does that stop? Uh, very good question. I, oh. I, that makes no sense to me. Harry, very good question. It doesn't stop the periods per se, because you still get your period on most birth controls. Really? Yes. It doesn't stop like that. It just changes the hormones or whatever so that. Again, as someone who wound up pregnant twice, and me too. I don't know. I took the pill for like a decade and a half. And look at me. So, anyway. <laughs> but doesn't it like help with cramps or something? It can help ease I think I've heard the that. intensity of it for people. Yeah. It can definitely help ease like the hormonal. It does something with your hormones that I need to do my Googling on that. Because there's some need no BGYN. There are some girls that are on the pill because of. Their periods were so bad. Yeah. Yeah. And it helps out with that a lot. But yeah. it doesn't like stop your period. There might be some shots and some other things that the IUD maybe does. And stop sharing I heard that. that's a painful thing. It is. And not a lot of places do like any pain medication or anything for it when they put it in. They like, there's like two little needle things that like grip the inside of your, yeah. Yeah. I forgot who I was talking to about that. Maybe it was, oh, uh, Jackie from KFC Radio did a whole thing on it. I don't know if you saw that. Yes, I did. Yeah. And like, I was, had no idea. They Scarring. just did a big, there's a podcast out right now called The Retrievals, where I think it was Yale was doing retrievals with, they stick a needle all the way through into your abdomen to pull the eggs out and stuff like that. And it's like really painful. So generally they use like fentanyl and I forget what the other thing is and even more powerful stuff. And this nurse was replacing it all with saline because she was stealing the fentanyl. So like hundreds of women were basically getting stabbed in their uteruses and oh like their ovaries God. and shit. And everyone was like, calm down, you're being dramatic. Calm down, you're being dramatic. Like, That's horrible. And they were feeling it the whole time. Like, That's crazy. Well, hey. I, hey, anyways. I, pre I appreciate I the education. <laughs> I need to look up. I'm like, I just took it blindly for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Does something with your hormones that like makes it tough to get pregnant? Okay. 
All right. Google that. Well, we'll, we'll that get one. the. We, we should do a part two. We should do a part two. Yeah. We'll get the, with the option. I need a part two. Yeah, I we'll, need that part. With the option, we'll take questions from listeners. Yeah. And we'll do the whole thing. We'll do like we'll an in de- a more in depth one. I yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. No, but this is I. You know, thank you for helping me learn at least to this level. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. We finally did it. We finally did it. Yay. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I can't <laughs> believe it happened. I'm not, you know, I hope I, nobody thinks I was like too judgy or gross. I was I genuine. Think, no. Okay, good. All right, oh my good. gosh. No, I, I feel proud respectful. of you, Eddie. I all feel right. proud. Yeah. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, everybody. That's the week. We'll end it with period Thursday with Kate. And <laughs> we'll see you Monday for a snake draft. <laughs> Bye. Have a good weekend.